Hi, Caleb with Brownells here. And in today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at a couple of B5 Systems pistol grips. All right, so the grips we have here in front of us today, uh, they come in two different variants. Uh, you have your P22 and your P23, or Type 22 and Type 23 pistol grips. And the only difference between the two is gonna be the actual beaver tail. So if you look here, uh, this is your Type 23. You have the beaver tail that comes off the back. Type 22 simply does not have it. So why would you want one over the other? Uh, well, for the most part, it's personal preference. But uh, the beaver tail isn't really compatible with all types of lower receivers. Of course it is for your mil spec, but if you're using like, let's say, uh, the BRN 180 lower receiver, and you try and put something with the beaver tail on it, it, it looks weird because there's kind of a weird gap there, um, and it just doesn't fit right. So again, if you're using a BRN 180, just stick with the P22, um, and of course it's, I mean, that's not the only reason. I mean, it's personal preference. Some people hate the beaver tail. Some people like it. I personally like it a lot. Uh, and benefits of these grips over your standard mil spec um, is gonna be primarily the angle. Now, I know a lot of guys out there do like the uh, A2 grips. Uh, if, if, if that's working for you, that's great. Uh, but uh, some things they did, uh, just kind of comparing this to an A2 grip, they knocked off that front bump that's on some, that's on, not some, on all of your A2 grips there. Uh, and then, of course, they changed the texture and the angle. Now, the reason these steeper angles work better, um, or straighter angles, I should say, work better, uh, on carbine setups is simply just because of that. They're way more ergonomic. I'll pull this one off here. And if you can see kind of how I'm presenting it here, with an A2 grip, you're actually angled further back. And on a shorter stock, you kind of have more of a, a, a sharper angle on your wrist there, and it's less ergonomic. So these, are, these angles are way better uh, when using a carbine. Now, the grips themselves are available in, like all the B5 stuff, they're available in a bunch of different colors. You can get them. Um, all your common colors, uh, Flight Dark Earth Society guys out there, uh, they make one for you as well. So, uh, looking at it again, let's talk about some of the texture. The thing I really appreciate about the texture is that it's textured on the sides and the front, but not on the back. Now. The texture is pretty aggressive, but it's not too aggressive. You don't have to shoot with gloves or anything like that. Uh, but it's easy to lock into that grip and, and um, you know, do what you need to do. Now, the reason I said I like how they didn't uh, actually texture the back of it is for this reason. Now, whenever you're shooting in a bunch of, like, different or some more awkward shooting positions, um, I like to reposition my hand. Uh, I like to be able to move the back of my, my hand here. And I don't really have to break my grip as much to do that as I would on like uh, any other grip that is textured on the back. Uh, this one allows me to adjust my shooting position grip with, uh, without too much headache. And my hand stays locked into the sides and the front, which is really good. That's what I want, obviously, uh, but not on the back. And that's what I really appreciate about this grip design. Now, another thing, another add-on product uh, we should talk about here is the grip plug. Now, the bottom of the grip is hollow and there's so much room for activities in there. So, B5 makes a grip plug that you can purchase separately that just plugs right in to the bottom of their grips. And it's cut, obviously, uh, those are battery compartments, but you can store all kind of different things in there. I think Multitasker, uh, if I'm not mistaken, makes a tool that fits in there, so you can have a tool on you as well. Uh, you can put chapstick there, you can get super creative, you can, like, whatever, zombie virus antidote tube, I don't know whatever you guys are doing out there, but it'll fit. Or you can just stuff some Skittles in there and then, like, just stick the plug in to keep your Skittles from falling out. Just remember, whenever you go to get your Skittles, that you need to like flip your gun over so you don't spill your Skittles on the ground. Well, you know, yeah. I'm already telling you guys stuff you already know. All right, so if you have any questions or comments, feel free to give us a call on the tech line. If you're watching this video on the website, the links to these products are right below. So go check them out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.